very soon in AP Calculus AB, we're going to be talking about the three most important theorems, I think, to find uh, in derivatives, the extreme value theorem, Rolle's theorem, and the mean value theorem. But before we can do that, we have to make sure we're good with intermediate value theorem, and probably should have covered this in pre-calculus, and I hope that you did. But if not, can we talk about it really quickly? It's the maybe the most obvious <laughs> theorem of all. What I'd like you to do, if you don't mind, is just draw the Cartesian plane, and then if you could just draw any function that you would like, any continuous function that you would like. And I'm going to wait for you just for a second because it, my function and yours, it doesn't matter which they are. So let's say that my function does, I don't know, maybe, maybe my function does this, yeah? So this is what I'm su suggesting to you, that let this be A right here, and let this value, the x value be B. So we have a height here of f of a, don't we? And we have a height here of, here's, right here is b, here's, so here's f of b, right? So all I'm suggesting to you with intermediate value theorem is that if you have any continu if you have any continuous curve, that it will take on all values, all height values between the first and the second. So let's say for a second that you think that this height right here is zero, and this height right here is five. So this is the point B five, and this is the point A, I don't know, one, I'm like, sorry. Isn't it true that if you follow this curve that you'll find every value in between? Like, isn't it true somewhere on the curve here you have a height of two, a height of three, a height of four, a height of five, a height of five. Now, your function might have done this instead. Let me show you this. Your function might have done this instead. Maybe your function does this instead. So your function looks like this. All intermediate value theorem says is that all heights between this height and this one exist. Now you see that this height is over five. So it doesn't tell us what heights exact heights exist, it tells us what range of heights exist, and we know that every height between 1 and 5 exists here somewhere, and maybe more than once. So, intermediate value theorem.